Good morning and welcome back. <laughs> it's been a minute. So, doing this new thing. Today is August 1st, 2022. And as you may or may not know, I have not been active on my channel in, in a minute. I haven't been posting videos, been barely doing lives. And a lot of changes have been taking place in my life. But at the same time, not enough changes yet. And I was toying with this idea. YouTube, obviously, is always calling me, even if I'm not there. It's always in the back of my mind. This is always my foundation that I go back to. And I wanted to do this thing where I create for 30 days straight. I haven't figured out the name yet. And I'm going to post a video every single day. Like, I'm bringing vlogs back, baby. Hmm. Not sure what it's going to be called yet. I'll be uploading this video, I guess, in, a, in like 8 or 9 hours from now. Maybe like 30 days to live, something like that. 30 days for inspiration, I don't know. The idea is that I help you guys, or anyone, as much as I help myself with this. The idea is to straighten out my thoughts. What, I, what I've always loved about vlogging is it allows me to basically have like, a, like an online diary and many times things that we... It's funny because I always tell my clients this and I, and I don't do it enough. When we take things and thoughts and concepts from our mind and this sphere of you know, thoughts and ideas and we verbalize them, we externalize them into the real world, they become a lot more powerful. Just saying something out loud actually makes that thing already way more profound and, and it actually um, gets true that way. So my plan is to do just that with this. I have no clear idea of what the content, content is going to be. I guess it's just going to be in my daily life. and. Uh, I feel like this intro is already way too long, so if you have been watching TikTok lately, then I am sure you have checked out by now. But if you haven't, then I'm glad that you're still here, and I hope that you're going to enjoy my attempt of creating 30 days in a row and coming to some type of resolution in the end, or not. We'll see. Anyway, let's get going. First things first, the liquid breakfast is still the same. Raw broccoli, blueberries, banana, almond milk, and vegan protein. You're probably not eating enough broccoli, and the easiest way to do it is to just put it raw in your morning shake. Alright, so I always chug this, not because I'm a badass or whatever reason, it's just because it is a vast amount of liquid, as you can tell. And if you start sipping this, you're going to get sick of this beverage real quick. What I always say is that taking in the, the protein and, and the veggies and, and the, the good quality food, like in this case, it's just as important as picking up the dumbbell and, and going to the gym. People always make the mistake of labeling the gym as an exercise and then nutrition and food as pleasure meaning that they have a hard time they don't want to eat stuff that they don't enjoy or they don't want to eat something that they don't find you know tasty and i always say they're drinking this stuff and doing this is just as if not more important than going to the gym and and lifting the weights like we're, we're somehow able to persuade ourselves and motivate ourselves into doing those things that for a lot of people are, is, is hard. But then when it comes to the food, we lack that discipline. So this is just as important as me going to the gym and taking the weight. And that's why I gotta do it like this.
again, I'm not going to tell you that this tastes amazing. That would be a lie. It doesn't taste bad. It's just that it's raw broccoli with a banana, blueberries, and vegan protein. <sighs> Done. Just pulled up to the gym. Driving on the way over here. I think I came up with the name of the series. I think I'll be calling it August Reset. How does that sound? Let me know in the comments. I think that encapsulates what I'm trying to do here. Just like reset everything and, and uh, go from there. And hopefully, like I said, inspire you guys on the way. I've been thinking about doing this for a while. And ironically, in the last month, you know, the last 31 days, July, I did, I had an amazing month. I did a bunch of fun stuff. I went, uh, I was in, in um, Barcelona. I went to Austria, climbed mountains. Literally yesterday, I was at Tomorrowland. I spent the last two days at Tomorrowland. Now, for those who don't know what Tomorrowland is, it's basically the biggest most well-known music festival in the world at this point. So it's EDM, electronic dance music, not quite my cup of tea music-wise. And until two days ago, I had never been um, to Tomorrowland. And it's funny because anytime I travel and I tell people I'm Belgian, usually that's the first thing they bring up. They're like, Tomorrowland! And then I always have to disappoint them. Telling them, well, I haven't really gone yet. Um, and I would not have gone had it not been for one of my good friends who literally um, called uh, called me and, and told me he had a free ticket for me for three days. So, you know, it's... I consider it way too expensive. The festival just costs way too much. For what it is, um, it's an hyper, It's a very commercial festival. Again, a lot of people claim it's the best. Um, I, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shit on it. But I would beg to differ. But again, it's all subjective, and it it, it depends on the music that you like. Um, it's a lot of, you know. I would say it's not really, it, it's not as much about, oh man, here I go into a Tomorrowland rant. This is typical, typical me. I'm going to keep it short. All I say is this. All, all I say is this. It's not really about the music at this festival. It's about coming together and, and having your flags in your country and and looking extravagant and, you know, having fun. Um, the music in itself is a lot of three, two, one, jump, and then everybody jumps. And then that cycle repeats itself about five thousand times. Literally. So they don't they don't really play full songs or you know, it's 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 EDM. It's jumping up and down, fist bump and that type of stuff. So if you're into that, you know. The point I was trying to make is that I intentionally did not wanna um start vlogging while I was doing those fun things because the last thing I want to do is portray a superficial lifestyle where I'm just like having fun and showing you how amazing it is which is so easy to do um, at, a, at something like Tomorrowland you know you can make an awesome compilation there and it, the stages and everything is so beautifully designed that everybody will think like oh my god like that's the you know the peak of of, of your existence to be there. Um, so I wanted to start today, the day after. So I say I'll have to say this. Um, obviously woke up with a mild hangover. You may or may not be able to tell. I think you'll be able to tell when you see me in the next few days. Looking less woozy. And today we are back at the gym. Gonna train some back. And you know kick this week off right and stop talking and get inside.
Okay, so that was the gin session and the main thing I wanted to talk about in this first video and what I think will be in the title is my weight gain. Um, I've gained 16 kilograms in the last year. You may or, n may or not be able to tell um, by watching me in the gym, but um, if you compare me to videos one year ago, it should be quite apparent. Like I've gained a ton of weight, 16 kgs, that's like, uh, I don't know, I guess 40, 40 pounds, something like that, roughly. Um, basically, I decided that I was tired of always dieting and, and watching my food intake. And most of all, and this is really the big thing I wanted to talk about, is I kind of caught myself being in this body dysmorphia state of constantly chasing being shredded, like being ripped and having a low body, body fat percentage. And I really lost perspective and I lost sight of what was actually optimal for me and my health and my well-being um, because as you know you know I was always trying to be lean and and and, and look ripped and then I just kind of like I'm not even gonna lie and act like it was a conscious decision where I said you know I'm gonna I'm gonna get with like I just kind of like I got I got just sick of it and I kept training, obviously, like training is something that is, you know, like brushing my teeth in the morning, like I'm never going to stop lifting weights, it's just something that I love to do. And what I began to found was that um, I did not turn into a fat ass, I just became stronger and stronger and stronger as I kept eating more. And then I just, and then I, I'll admit, I kind of wanted to see how far I could take it. How far I, how, you know, like what would be the point where I would no longer gain muscle and, and gain good looking size and where I would kind of like have that point of diminishing returns. And I do feel like I've reached that point in the last couple of weeks where I'm probably becoming like a little bit too, too soft, a little bit too fat. Um, still fine. But overall, what I noticed is that I just feel a whole lot better emotionally when I have more body weight, when I have more fat, when I eat more. Um, hormonal also. Um, I was definitely suffering from a, a lower sex drive um, at, the, at the end of my, you know, when I was always being so lean and, and, and always trying to be shredded. Um, that, definitely, that, 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 that definitely impacted me. And I feel like that's not really talked about enough. And most of all, I, I understood, you know, like looking back on pictures just a year ago, I'm like, damn, like I thought I was looking, you know, back then I, I, th I would think I would look so good. And now I'm like, man, I was way too skinny. Like that's not a good look. Even, you know, also with me being so tall, it's like if you're a tall guy and you're weighing 83, 84 kgs, like, you're under eating, man. Like, you're just not, you know, it doesn't even look that good. Like, that's my opinion on it now. And I definitely got influenced because of social media, you know, all these dudes juicing and just having this idea that I, was, that I should always have veins and some type of, like, abs, visible abs. And I just, you know, I realize now that I'm way better off as this. So many people have spontaneously told me like, hey, you look way healthier, you look way better now, like what happened? And they don't even necessarily know it's the weight gain. Um, you know, but again, like there's always two sides to a story. And I also, like now, I definitely have been letting go a lot more and I need to reel it in a little bit. Um, like a little bit less drinking here and there, a little bit less, you know, sugars and all that stuff. But all in all, um, I feel a lot better with the, the weight that I put on. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Do you even see a change? Um, what, do you, what do you reckon? I just wanted to, 
you know, this one, I wanted to, this to be the main message of this first video, me basically um, having learned that there is value in having a little bit more fat in a lot of aspects in life. Um, aside from the fact that I need the, that all my clothes are too small, like it's crazy, like literally 90% of, of all the clothes that I own are just too small now. It's it's really has been a big a big transformation. Um, and that's it. That's gonna be the video for today. I have got two client calls coming in the, in the next two and a half hours, so I'll be focusing on that. And I am very much looking forward to what you guys think of, of the video, the new concept. I guess I'll call it August reset. Reset August. We'll see. Well, anyway, comment below what you think. Um, uh, I'm hoping that you guys are happy I'm back, because I'm happy I'm back. And let's see how far we can push this and see if we can do it. All right, guys, that's it. Talk to you soon. Hi, my name's Spencer. I'm a filmmaker from Chicago. I'm a person who struggled with anxiety, OCD, and mild depression for most of my life. I've seen many therapists and tried many different medications. Uh, recently, I was kind of looking for something more, to get more motivated, to get more things done, and I had just come across uh, Lorenza's YouTube channel. I just started binge watching, and I became so inspired about his attitude, the way he goes about things, and he just seemed so genuine, so intelligent, and I just decided to reach out because I thought if he could make it through everything that he had made it through and be succeeding so well now that he must know something and I can safely say he does. He's so much different than any other therapist I had seen before. I felt like a more of a connection. I felt that everything that he was talking about with me was from experience that he had and not just something that he learned in a book. And I think that's the biggest difference that I could, I could honestly say. So he's helped me so much with motivation, organizing my life, more confidence. And the biggest thing is to live in the moment. And I really appreciate what I have and who I'm with and what I'm doing when I'm doing it. And that was something I've never done before. So once again, I would like to highly recommend Lorenz, aka Wounded Viking. Please hit him up for life coaching.